Welcome to this video on refraction through lens. In this video, we look at the concave lens. Um, so we, we know that the concave lens is a diverging lens. Now what we mean by that is, if we have an object here, so let this be an object, um, the rays from this, from, from an indicative point on the object, they, they diverge off after the refraction. And our, our brain, our eyes, which is here, uh, they get diverging rays and they project these rays backward and they form an indicative image. Um, so the same thing happens from top to bottom and then you get a virtual image. So this image can't be taken in a screen. This is virtually formed by a brain. So let's look how these virtual images look. In real world. Here is a demonstration of the rays diverging of a concave lens and on the right we can see how the how the light box looks through the concave lens. Uh, we see that the image is uh, much smaller and uh, it feels much more closer. So here is another uh, demo. On the left we have a picture taken by a camera without a concave lens and on the right uh, with the concave lens. You can observe that the background is blurred because the camera's lens focused on the image that is there which is shown by the concave lens. So you can see um, that the trees are much uh, smaller and it's, it looks a little shrinked and it looks uh, you know, a little bit nearer. Let's see the virtual image formed uh, by a concave lens. Here are two candles. This concave lens is approximately about 15 centimeter focal length. You can see those two candles are of the same size. Um, so let's see the virtual image as we bring the concave lens uh, closer. Um, or rather, if, as we increase the distance of the object from the lens. So we can see that um, the size of the image is uh, smaller as we increase increase the distance, object distance, as we bring it closer. We can bring it closer. Yes. So as we bring it, as we bring, as we increase the object distance, uh, we see that the the virtual image formed is smaller and smaller. Yep can bring even further so you can clearly see that uh, the virtual image is, is decreasing in size so as you bring really far away as as we increase this distance we will we will see that it there comes a point when the object is very 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 small and eventually this this will be at the focal length the image formed will be at, at close to the virtual image formed will be close to the focal length on on the other side of the lens so let's draw the ray diagram for this scenario that we just now saw so here is an indicative object beyond 2f uh, so first you know we have uh, let let this be an indicative point on the object a ray from here going through the center of curvature would pass undeviated and let's draw that ray so here is here is that ray so let's mark the arrows for this once we have that Let's draw a ray parallel to the principal axis. This ray uh, exits such that if you extend it, it will, the diverging beam, it passes through the focus. So we apply the rules of the ray diagram here, All right? So this is how the rays will go out. And let's extend this a little bit, All right? 
So this will be our ray diagram. Uh, let's mark the exit rays as well. Our eyes uh, project these divergent rays backward and it perceives that the, the object is here or rather the image is here. So the way you will see a small, smaller version of the object here. So if this is your O, O dash, uh, this would be I, I dash, which is the image. So let's assume that the focal length of this concave lens is 15 centimeters. And this distance, uh, this distance is about um, 40 centimeters. Now applying the lens formally, 1 by V minus 1 by U is 1 by F. 1 by V minus 1 by U is uh, U is minus 40 centimeters, minus 40. And our F should be minus 15 because it's a concave lens. 1 by minus 15. Or 1 by V is uh, minus 1 by 15, uh, minus 1 by 40 and that's equal to uh, minus 8 minus 3 by 120 or V would be equal to uh, 120 minus 120 by uh, by 11 um, centimeters that'll be that'll be this distance and that's we can see that that's indeed lesser than the focal length um, that'll be approximately we can say that'll be minus 1 that will be minus 10.9 centimeters approximately. The magnification would be given by V by U. That will be minus 120 by 11 um, divided by minus 40. That will be equal to 3 by 11. So if our object is, uh, let's say, object height is 11 centimeters, then our image, image height i would be the i, image height would be m times o, which is 3 by 11 times 11. That will be 3 centimeters. So for an object height of 11 centimeters, the image height will be 3 centimeters. You can see that this image is erect and it is virtual. So virtual and erect go together. So the characteristic is virtual erect and it is diminished now as this object goes farther and farther away this image will come closer and closer to the focal length and as the object goes very far away or infinity this image will be very close to uh, the focal length so i hope you enjoy this video Please revisit the learning goals and try to create a mental narrative in your notebook of all that all all these learning goals of the ray diagram and you know this example how you how to apply the lens formulae and the magnification and etc. Uh, and in case we get stuck, I urge you to revisit this video. See you until the next one. Bye.